Have you ever been left fuming, speechless, or deeply hurt by an insult? Well, I have something that might just change how you react to such situations. In this video, I'll be sharing six stoic principles to handle insults. This isn't just about absorbing punches, it's about understanding the art of emotional resilience. These principles will equip you with the mental armor to turn insults into opportunities for growth and self-improvement. After all, stoicism is all about inner peace and tranquility, isn't it? If you're intrigued and ready to transform your life, hit that subscribe button and journey with me towards the path of serenity and wisdom. Remember, the essence of stoicism is patience and understanding, so stay stoic, and watch till the end to fully grasp these life-altering principles. Principle 1. Indifference to the Insult One of the fundamental principles of Stoicism is practicing indifference to external events that are beyond our control, including insults. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, emphasized that it is not the insult itself that harms us, but rather our reaction to it. By cultivating indifference, we can maintain our inner peace and prevent insults from affecting our well-being. Imagine this scenario, you're presenting a project at work, and your colleague interrupts you belittling your ideas and calling them worthless. In that moment, you have a choice. You can let the insult consume you, become defensive, and engage in a heated argument. Or, you can opt for indifference, recognizing that you have no control over someone else's opinions or actions. By choosing indifference, you detach yourself from the insult and its emotional impact. You understand that the insult says more about the person delivering it than it does about you. It becomes like water off a duck's back, it simply doesn't affect you. For instance, instead of allowing the insult to trigger anger or self-doubt, you can remind yourself that you have put in your best effort and believe in the value of your ideas. You can choose to focus on the task at hand and continue presenting confidently, regardless of the insult. Practicing indifference to insults doesn't mean suppressing emotions or pretending not to be affected. It's about recognizing that insults hold no power unless we give it to them. By embracing this principle, you empower yourself to stay calm, composed, and in control of your emotions allowing insults to roll off you without causing lasting harm. Remember, indifference is a powerful shield that protects your inner peace and allows you to navigate the ups and downs of life with grace and resilience. Principle 2. Understanding the Insulter One of the fundamental teachings of Stoicism is to cultivate understanding and compassion towards others, even when they insult us. Rather than reacting with anger or resentment, Stoics encourage us to consider the insulter's perspective and motivations. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, believed that people act out of ignorance and that understanding this can help us maintain our inner tranquility. Let's consider a real-life example to illustrate this principle. Imagine you're at work, and a colleague makes a snide comment about your recent presentation, saying, your presentation was a complete disaster. You clearly have no talent for this job. Initially, this might sting and evoke feelings of anger or self-doubt. However, through the lens of Stoicism, you can choose to respond differently. Instead of immediately becoming defensive or retaliating, you pause and reflect on the situation. You consider that your colleague might be going through a difficult time, feeling insecure, or even jealous of your accomplishments. By understanding their perspective, you can empathize with their struggle rather than taking their insult personally. In this scenario, you might respond to your colleague's comment with composure and kindness. You could say, I appreciate your feedback. I understand that we all have different opinions, and it's important for us to support each other. If you have any specific suggestions for improvement, I'm open to hearing them. By responding with understanding, you not only diffuse the tension but also demonstrate your emotional maturity and resilience. By practicing the stoic principle of understanding the insulter, you cultivate a mindset of empathy and compassion. This allows you to navigate through difficult interactions with grace and wisdom, ultimately promoting healthier relationships and personal growth. Remember, when faced with insults, take a step back, seek to understand the insulter, and respond with empathy. By doing so, you can transform potentially harmful situations into opportunities for connection and self-improvement. Stay tuned for the remaining principles as we dive deeper into the wisdom of Stoicism. Principle number three from the list is self-reflection. This principle emphasizes the importance of looking inward when faced with insults. Instead of reacting impulsively or defensively, Stoics encourage us to use insults as an opportunity for self-improvement and personal growth. By engaging in self-reflection, we can gain valuable insights about ourselves and develop a better understanding of how we can enhance our character and actions. Let's dive into a real-life example to illustrate this principle. Imagine you're working on a project at your workplace, and a colleague insults your ideas, calling them useless and foolish. Naturally, 
your initial reaction might be one of anger, frustration, or self-doubt. However, by applying the stoic principle of self-reflection, you can transform this insult into a powerful learning experience. Upon reflection, you may ask yourself, are my ideas truly worthless? Was there something I could have done differently to make them more effective? Instead of dwelling on the insult, you focus on the underlying message, the opportunity to evaluate your work objectively. Through self-reflection, you may realize that your colleague's criticism had some validity. Perhaps your ideas lacked thorough research or failed to consider certain factors. Rather than taking offense, you can take this valuable feedback constructively and use it to improve your future projects. This process of self-reflection allows you to grow, adapt, and develop a stronger character. In this example, the insult becomes a catalyst for self-improvement. By applying the stoic principle of self-reflection, you can detach yourself from the emotional impact of the insult and focus on the lessons it offers. This practice empowers you to take control of your reactions and transform negative encounters into opportunities for personal development. Remember, the path to self-improvement requires introspection and a willingness to learn from criticism. By incorporating the stoic principle of self-reflection into your life, insults become stepping stones on your journey towards wisdom and inner peace. Let's dive into principle number four, practicing forgiveness. Stoicism teaches us that forgiveness is a virtue that can liberate us from the burden of anger, resentment, and grudges. When someone insults us, our initial reaction might be to retaliate or hold on to that negative emotion. However, Stoics believe that forgiveness is a more noble and beneficial response. Forgiveness, in the Stoic sense, doesn't mean condoning or forgetting the offense. It means choosing to let go of the negative emotions associated with the insult and granting the insulter the opportunity for growth and redemption. By forgiving, we free ourselves from the emotional weight and maintain our own inner peace. To illustrate this principle, let's consider a real-life example. Imagine you're working on a team project, and a colleague constantly belittles your ideas and undermines your contributions. This behavior can be hurtful and demoralizing. In a non-stoic response, you might harbor anger and resentment towards your colleague, which could negatively impact the team's dynamics and your own well-being. However, by applying stoic principles, you can choose to practice forgiveness. Instead of holding on to the insult, you recognize that your colleague's behavior stems from their own insecurities or lack of understanding. By forgiving them, you release yourself from the negativity and focus on finding constructive solutions to work together effectively. Forgiveness allows you to maintain a harmonious environment and enables personal growth. It empowers you to rise above the insult and respond with grace and wisdom. Ultimately, forgiveness benefits both you and the insulter, as it fosters understanding, empathy, and the possibility of building a healthier relationship. If you want to learn more about how Stoicism can transform your life and help you navigate through challenging situations like handling insults, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Together, we can embark on a journey towards resilience, inner peace, and personal growth. Principle number five, valuing virtue over opinion. This principle lies at the core of Stoic philosophy, emphasizing that one's character and actions are more important than the opinions of others. Stoics believe that true value lies in cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control, rather than seeking validation or approval from external sources. In our modern society, we often find ourselves seeking validation through social media likes, comments, and shares. We crave the acceptance and admiration of others, which can lead to a fragile sense of self-worth. Stoicism offers a powerful antidote to this by reminding us to value our virtues over the ever-changing opinions of others. Let's dive into a real-life example to illustrate this principle. Imagine you're a passionate artist, pouring your heart and soul into your work. One day, someone criticizes your artwork, claiming it lacks creativity and talent. This comment stings, and you feel a surge of defensiveness and self-doubt. However, if you apply the stoic principle of valuing virtue over opinion, your perspective shifts. Instead of letting the comment define your worth as an artist, you recognize that your value lies in the craftsmanship, dedication, and passion you put into your work. You understand that opinions are subjective and can be influenced by various factors, such as personal preferences or biases. By focusing on your virtues, you can remain steadfast in your artistic journey, continuing to grow and improve based on your own standards and aspirations. By embracing this principle, you free yourself from the constant need for external validation. You become more resilient, self-assured, and capable of staying true to your values and passions, regardless of what others may think. This mindset shift empowers you to focus on personal growth, allowing your virtues to guide you toward a fulfilling and authentic life. Remember, 
Valuing virtue over opinion is not about dismissing constructive criticism or shutting yourself off from feedback. It's about recognizing that your worth is not determined by the ever-changing opinions of others, but by the values and virtues you cultivate within yourself. So, stay stoic, my friends, and let the strength of your virtues shine through. Principle 6. Mindfulness Mindfulness is a powerful tool in Stoicism that encourages us to live in the present moment, free from the burden of past insults or anxieties about future ones. It invites us to embrace what is within our control and release attachment to external events, such as insults. By practicing mindfulness, we cultivate a calm and resilient mind that can navigate through life's challenges with grace. Imagine this, you're at a social gathering, mingling with friends and acquaintances. Suddenly, someone you barely know makes a snide comment about your appearance. In that moment, your initial reaction might be to feel hurt, angry, or even embarrassed. However, by applying the principle of mindfulness, you can choose to respond differently. Instead of dwelling on the insult and allowing it to consume your thoughts, take a deep breath and bring your attention back to the present moment. Focus on the conversations around you, the laughter, and the joy of being in the company of friends. By doing so, you detach yourself from the insult and regain control over your emotional state. Here's a real-life example. Let's say you receive an email from a colleague criticizing your work and questioning your abilities. Instead of immediately firing back with a defensive response, take a moment to pause. Breathe deeply and remind yourself that you have the power to choose how you react. By practicing mindfulness, you can approach the situation with a clear mind and respond in a calm and composed manner. Perhaps you may even find value in their feedback and use it as an opportunity for growth. By incorporating mindfulness into your daily life, Insults become mere passing clouds, unable to disturb your inner tranquility. You become more focused, resilient, and better equipped to handle whatever life throws at you. So, embrace the power of mindfulness, stay present, and watch as it transforms your life for the better.